Catherine Nash is at Euston Station for us. Catherine, what do we know about how those talks went? Well, hi, Tessa. I think the one thing we do know about those talks is just how lively they were. After all, the RMT is pushing for its members to get better job security. Now, the union came out of that meeting saying that the Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, had wreck negotiations by failing to allow Network Rail to withdraw a letter outlining potential mass redundancies and that until the government unshackles Network Rail and the train operators, no settlement will be made. Hence that strike action happening tomorrow. Well, Grant Shapps has responded to all of this by saying this is a total lie from the RMT and its General Secretary. I've had absolutely nothing to do with either the issuing of a letter by Network Rail or any request to withdraw it and that it strongly urges the union to get back to the negotiating table. Now, Network Rail have also spoken out today. They say they're disappointed that the talks have broken down. So it looks like another very difficult few days for rail passengers, many of whom had challenging journeys today. A packed train this morning into London, Euston. Passengers taking advantage of a break in the strikes. Across London at Paddington, as ticket barriers opened, it was a race to get a seat on trains heading towards Glastonbury. At Ashford International, there was help on hand, but even so, travelling by train was tough. It's been an absolute nightmare. Like, well, the, the first bit was all right because we had a courtesy bus and then I got on the train and then come down here. But as soon as I got to Ashford, that's, that's it. I've, I've got to wait two hours for my next train. The journey today has been a bit of a drama. We, you know, we got up early and get, got to St Pancras and then uh, uh, couldn't, get a, couldn't get a train till lunchtime and then we just try to get to Dover and it's, uh, it's been a bit of a nightmare. But this afternoon, as talks between Network Rail train operators and the RMT union broke down, confirmation that the disruption isn't over yet. The strike plan for tomorrow will definitely go ahead, and another on Saturday. There's a lot of focus, quite rightly, on the strike days, but we also need to think about the days in between. So, for example, today, um, I think most train companies are running what they call a Sunday timetable. So that's approximately 60% of what it would normally be on a weekday. So again, it, it's not as if today is back to normal. Um, there will still be problems, potential for overcrowding. As rail passengers continue to face challenges navigating the network, they're now preparing for even more chaos to come. Catherine Nash, Five News.